So last week's video had a couple little Easter eggs in it. And I think only one person made a mention. And I haven't had a chance to talk about it too much. Between the crazy amount of orders that we've had to put out, shop is really busy right now. And the new machinery that's came in. If you hadn't noticed, uh, I got two more lasers and another CNC machine sitting over there. Got a new MOPA marking laser to go with my regular marking laser to go with my other regular marking laser. We're good and uh, we got another smart shop. Shop's filling up nice. It's been really hectic over here. In order to even get the new CNC machine that I got over here working, I had to put a whole new fuse panel in this building because I tapped out the box that I already have in here. In order to do that, I had to move all my old shelves that were over in the corner, take everything off of them, dismantle them, there's like eight of them, but those shelves had to be out to make room for that new panel. So needless to say, it's been a mess around here. It's been crazy. We're not where we want to be. It's still a mess in here. I got a couple things that I need to do. If I don't unbox these things right now, here trying to make space while I'm moving things around like Tetris literally like Tetris to get everything in here just right and still stay comfortable some things like these gigantic boxes that came in from John at Sky High are just in the way so we're gonna unbox these things it's like an emergency Easter unboxing and take a look at them see what it is well, I already know what it is but I'm gonna show you guys what it is and uh, maybe make a little bit of room all right so this is what we have What could possibly be in a box this size? And we're cracking open base head Easter eggs. I love it. What's this egg look like though? Because I've never seen what these look like in person before. This is new to me too. I've seen them online, but never in person. Right, now this box looks like it's already been open, and it has. This one has not. When they brought them over, they're like, check them out. And they started ripping the box. And I'm like, no, 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 hold on. We got to do an unboxing video. And that's for later. So we'll open this one first because it'll be more of an official steak knife unboxing. As always, the SK-1. Box on box on box on box. I love it though. I gotta try to figure out how I'm getting it out of here by myself without destroying this carton. I might have to destroy the carton. I don't want to. I have to anyways because the carton is the biggest problem. It's the biggest reason I'm doing this right now. Everything is in the way, so let's just do it. SMD, right here, SK1, like it ain't nothing. They just are novelty. Look at it. This thing is better than against you. I can still slice the tomato with it.
<laughs> Holy crap. Look at these gigantic things. Oh my lord. So big it makes that gigantic motor look small. Just to let you know, there's a six inch voice coil inside of that motor. So it's by no means small. It's just this basket is ginormous. It's hard to put that into perspective unless there's somebody standing next to it. And uh, well, I'm here on a Sunday by myself. so. We're going to have to put this back up on the tripod. I'll move them around a little bit so I can take some photos. And then uh, maybe we'll bring it over here and flex them a little bit. Maybe this will put it into perspective. So this is legit the only way I could think of to get these things to sit upright without falling. The cart is all the way down and the basket is touching and it's just holding the motor up again this is a gigantic motor if this was on a 15 it would probably not fit through the hole very good I've seen big ass subwoofers before I've never owned one this big these are gonna be fun I have no idea what I'm gonna do with them but we're going to start out with just having a little bit of fun. Let's go hook it up to a big ass amplifier and get one of them moving. Then I'm going to run home, edit this video, and enjoy the rest of my Easter. Thirty-three inches. Damn. Eight gauge direct leads, dual voice coils, D1s to be exact. And I got an app on the test bench ready to go. We're all hooked up. These are dual ones. So, I wired each subwoofer in series and then parallel them together. We should be sitting at one ohm right now. We still got this beautiful Sound Digital 12K on the bench. 12,000 watts. 
It's a little bit too much for these. I don't think they handle 6,000 each, but we'll get them moving real nice without damaging them. Because I know these carts are probably going to rattle like crazy. I put something underneath them, a little foam pad, and raised it up on the jack a little so it has some tension so it's not just a rat bunch of rattling metal. So let's play these damn things. Then we'll go on to the IMSG, flex the crap out of them. But I want to hear a little bit of music. I know you guys know this one. We're not even in a box and I can feel it shaking my entire body. Damn. playing right now I can't play a lot of stuff without getting hit with the copyright on YouTube so we're just gonna hook up the SMD IMSG we're gonna put some tones through this thing and see how far I can get it to flex sucks that I can't just play what I want to play up in here shout out to bass mechanic though you know we love this track One of my favorite parts, right here. Twenty hertz. Ten hertz. So as you can imagine, taming these two 33 inch subs by yourself, testing in the shop, just moving them sucks, but hooking them up and they want to roll all over the shop. As soon as they start vibrating, these carts are rolling, they're pulling each other apart. You saw that little spark. I'm going to end this video on that note. That was a lot of fun. It's going to get even more fun when I build a box for these. Something big, fat, strong, clear, because I love that acrylic. And with lots of deep bass, big ass port, something fun. Anyways. Have a great Easter. I hope you enjoyed my Easter egg opening. And I'm out of here. Later.